This is Marcy and Connie here at 1033 Main Salon and Spa in wonderful, beautiful Mumford, New York. Today we're going to show you a little hairstyle that's been making its way around on Pinterest. And Modern Salon has even put a picture of it up on their Facebook page. It combines two classic, very easy things that are very popular right now, which is a fluffy ponytail. And I've put a little bit of teasing in Connie's ponytail. And a French braid. But it's a draped French braid, so uh, that's what we're going to work on teaching you today. I did leave a section out on the front of Connie's hair. I put some curl in it, and I'm just going to bring that back. I'm gonna grab some pins. We're going to bring this section back. And we're going to use this section to cover the ponytail holder. And I want to bring this up a little bit, and we're just going to softly drape that. And bring it underneath and around. And give it a couple turns around the base of our ponytail. And pin that in place. Okay. Another little, little another turn on that. Another small pin, and all you have to do is take your pin, catch a little of the hair, catch the end of the hair, touch the scalp with the end of your pin, turn it, and push it in. And that is all set. And now we're going to get to the braiding portion. Let me just kind of smooth that out a little bit here. I'm going to take a piece of hair from the right hand side. And I'm just going to give it one, what we call plate. I'm just going to do one quick little bit of braiding there to get it started. But I want to keep it soft because you want it to kind of melt out of the ponytail. And now we're going to use a principle called over direction. I'm going to take a, another piece from the other side of the ponytail. And get a little piece. I'm going to add it into the section of my braid that's on the left. But as I do that, I'm going to pull everything over to the side and up away from the ponytail. Because that, that's actually called over direction, that causes this piece of hair to travel farther to the braid. And you'll see why in a second. And then I'm going to bring that into the middle, bring the piece from the right over, and the piece on the left I'm again going to bring a section over from the left side of the ponytail and add it to the section of my braid on the left. And cross that over to the middle, bring the right side over. So we're only adding hair onto the left. And again, another piece from the left. I'm going to take that out, bring it over, cross it to the middle. And as you see, we're just making a little simple braid. But let me show you what's going on because we're holding it up away from the head. We're getting a really nice drape on these pieces that we're bringing over from the, from the left side. I always have to think about that for a second, left and right. And we're going to just do this all the way down. So the more you hold your braid away from the head, the more you over direct your braid, the more drape you're going to get. So as you move down the drape, uh, move down the braid, if you start to lift it further away from the head, you're going to get even more of an exaggeration of that draping effect. And we're just going to go all the way down until we're at the end of that section. But as you see, you can get that all draped nicely around. If you want to keep it more even and compact, then you want to keep your amount of lift from the ponytail even all the way down. But if you want to get it so that it's a little tighter at the top and gradually loosening up the drape, then you start lifting the braid up a little more as you work. And that will exaggerate that effect. And again, just add to the left, cross over the middle, Cross the right over to the middle, and as you lay it down, that's where you get that. I'm actually going to bring 
the same thing over here. Okay, so we've reached kind of the bottom. I'm going to give it a nice little extra um, bit of plaiting there. I'm going to grab a ponytail holder just to cap that off. And again, just take a little piece of hair from underneath and wrap it around that rubber band to cover it. to do is smooth out my braid and then I want to bring this over and pin it up here at the top and the reason to do that is I hope you get to see it exaggerates the drape a little bit and separates these pieces for you you just bring them over here to the side. A very little bit of hairspray. And what I'm using is ISO Daily Shape. It's a very light spray. It's just going to give me a little bit of hold on that. And there is your braid. Smooth out these ends. Beautiful. If you wanted to, you could continue pulling pieces down. I just wanted you to get the idea of how we achieve that effect. There she is. Let's move this a little bit. I don't want it to be too fussy, but Connie's hair gets a little fly away sometimes. All right, so here's the full effect. Nice and simple on the front. We just curled that piece, draped it back, and wrapped the ponytail. And then here along the back, a nice interesting design. It's actually just a combination of two very classic, very simple uh, elements. The ponytail and a French braid. So now you have yet another way to look great, feel great, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.